Okay, so now what we've done so far is we told SAP what the cross sections are. Now what we need to do is we need to assign those cross sections to the locations within the frame because SAP doesn't know what beams and columns mean. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting all the beams and then we're going to assign the beam cross section, which we previously defined, and tell SAP that these are the locations where the beam cross section is. So to do that, we select all the beams and then we go to frame, we go to assign, and then frame, and then frame sections to tell SAP what section is in that location that we picked. So here we're going to select beam, and then we see now that the, the labels popped up since we just did this. And if we look more closely, it shows that the beam cross section is being used for all the beams, and then it calls the columns um, something like F section one or something like that. And what that is, is that when we made our SAP model, um, it just made, made something up. It just picked a default section. So we need to fix that. And we need to go through and now we'll try to select the exterior columns and fix those. We need to assign those to be our exterior column sections and not the default sections that SAP assumed, which are typically steel elements. So now we've got those assigned as exterior columns. Now we're going to go through and select the interior columns, assign those just like we did with the other ones. And once we get done with this, then SAP will know all of the elements in the building and what cross section to use for all of the elements in the building. And the purpose again for this is to get the stiffness right of the frame, right? Because we're using an elastic model and really all we're telling SAP is the stiffnesses of each element. So that way we can get the period right. And then also that way we can have the forces distribute through the frame correctly because the forces distribute based on stiffnesses. Okay, so at this point, <clears throat> we've got all of the elements defined. And now we need to make sure that our fixities at the base are appropriate. So we just selected all the base nodes and we're going to assign fixities to those. Now in this example we're going to say that the foundations that we're going to use underneath the columns and also the connections between the columns and the foundations, how we're doing the actual reinforcing, um, we're going to make those be a fixed connection. So what that means is that the rebar goes continuously into the foundation, it's hooked into the foundation, and things like that, um, so that that's a rigid connection. So we're going to restrain everything, all degrees of freedom, so there can be no translation and no rotation in any of the three directions at the base of the frame.